With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Now we are going to understand about this question and our question says that which of the following is true for CO2 concentration. Okay. We have to find the true statement for the CO2 concentration. Okay. So when we read these all statements that is uh, more alveolar air than in expired air, more in expired air than in alveolar air. So we get an idea about the, this question is about our respiratory system. Okay. So this question is about respiratory system. system okay and we know that the respiratory our respiratory system is play a very crucial role in the and it in the gaseous exchange okay so we can say that the, it facilitate it facilitate gaseous exchange in our body okay so this is a very very important biological process so now uh, during the gaseous exchange uh, in respiratory system guys for the gaseous exchange there are very important organs and a very important in human system that is lungs okay lungs and alveoli lungs and inside the lungs alveoli alveolar okay so in this when the uh, when our body system gain a uh, oxygen from the atmospheric mm -hmm. air okay so here we write about the atmospheric air or expired air okay atmospheric air and then it this oxygen air O2 is moved towards the lungs okay from the our lungs when when we um, when we breathe or when we um, inhale okay so at that time the atmospheric oxygen is reached into our lungs or alveolar 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 okay so in that and the uh, from the lungs this O2 move towards the body tissues. Body tissues. Okay. So we can say that the oxygen movement uh, through this channel. Okay. From the atmospheric. We, and, uh, it take into the uh, lungs or alveolar. Okay. Then from the lungs. Lungs. This O2 is transport towards the body tissues. Okay. Or we know that uh, the CO2 transport. Uh, is oppositely moved okay co2 moved from the body tissues towards the lungs okay co2 transport and from lungs it eliminate eliminate from the body and and uh, reach out the atmospheric air okay so in this case we can see that this is co2 movement okay so uh, because the uh, in the lungs in this part the uh, carbon dioxide concentration firstly the carbon dioxide concentration uh, in body tissues is very high because uh, in this site the co2 is accumulated uh, by the various metabolic processes then uh, when there uh, the um, co2 concentration is very high in body tissue then only it move towards the lungs okay because the movement of co2 is higher to low, higher concentration to lower concentration okay then the uh, here in, at this point co2 level is uh, continuously uh, higher in, in this side also okay when uh, the co2 concentration high at uh, the lungs or alveolar then it move to move towards the uh, atmospheric air move out from the body and eliminate eliminate the from body and go out into the atmospheric air 
okay and this process is constantly running so we can say that if uh, if we see the options of this question so in our options more alveolar air than in expired air okay so in this question in this statement this statement says the alveolar air that means here at this point okay alveolar air is more is more than the expired air so as i told you earlier co2 concentration is more here that is why it is moved towards the atmospheric air or to eliminate from the body okay so this statement will be correct okay with respect of co2 concentration okay because uh, when the co2 more in alveolar okay then only it move towards the out of the body or expired air okay so the expired air is low this will be low that is why it moves towards the atmospheric air okay so this statement will be our correct answer so hope you understand well thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today